1972 was supposed to be different. It was the first time the Olympic Games would be held in Germany since the Berlin Olympics of 1936, when Hitler famously used them to spread Nazi ideology to the world. Organizers even nicknamed the 72 Olympics the Games of Peace and Joy to distance the events from the dark memories of World War II. Instead, Jewish blood was once again spilled on German soil. The peace of what would have been called the Serene Olympics was shattered just before dawn this morning. On September 5th, 1972, at 4.30 in the morning, eight members of the terrorist group Black September, a militant offshoot of the Palestinian party Fatah, carried duffel bags of grenades and assault rifles into the Olympic Village. The terrorists immediately killed two of Israel's athletes and took nine hostage. Germany had been so concerned about rehabilitating her image and not coming across as a police state that the government declined to take proper security measures, like hiring armed guards, making it all too easy for intruders to break in, which is exactly what happened. The terrorists demanded that the Israeli government release over 230 Palestinian prisoners. After hours of failed negotiations, the attack culminated in a botched rescue attempt and a shootout at the airport that left all the hostages and a policeman dead. Fears have been realized tonight. They've now said that there were 11 hostages. Two were killed in their rooms. Nine were killed at the airport tonight. They're all gone. While the Israeli government did carry out a military operation against the terrorists, proper recognition from the international community came only 49 years later when the International Olympic Committee finally honored the victims at the opening ceremony of the 2021 Games in Tokyo. Meanwhile, Palestinian leaders have yet to apologize or take responsibility for the massacre. Today we remember, may their memories be a blessing.